feel, feel like safe in the areas you were hanging out in? The park was not safe. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of um, people that are scared to go up there because of other teenagers. It's always going to be the older, louder kids like Who dominating it. it. You don't want to make eye contact with the wrong people. It was, I went around yeah. I went around in quite a big group, so I'm quite a big lad and all my mates were there, so. Yeah. <laughs> the, bigger the bigger the size of the group you were, the more protected you felt, yeah. so. But if you're on your own, even walking through the centre of town, if there's big groups of other young people, you put your head down. You just feel automatically threatened by it, especially, like, girls. <laughs> Me, I felt quite <laughs> Did you? Yeah. If you're a girl on your own, you don't feel safe walking around all the time. Even in daylight? Yeah. yeah. People smoking, drinking, doing drugs. Yeah. Sort of stuff, so. so it didn't feel that safe? No. If you're not a particularly social person... Less confident people, they wouldn't... Yeah, they wouldn't want to step in there. Going out on your own is too scary. Yeah. And the couple of friends you have maybe live the other side of the town. Yeah. So transport especially... Is so important. Is essential. Uh, I think transport is an issue. I think it would be really great if uh, there were a couple more buses or minibuses around to help kids get places. But someone on You need like, site you know, to... like the security guards on town. Yeah. You need someone that some older boys aren't going to laugh. Because if, so. yeah, if it was some like person that just puny man like that just volunteered and was like, hey guys. There's not really many places when it's bad weather. Our places has got limited, so like if we're outside, we'd probably go to the bandstand. We'd go on the bandstand if it was free and kind of be sheltered there. But that's just concrete, cold. Not really much to do apart from sit around and just talk and smoke. And Otherwise, bottoms of car parks, where there's little places where you could sort of hide away or fields at the very edge of Froome where there were little derelict sheds. There's only one bench apart from that shelter up at the park. You've got that, that shelter that's there. It looks futuristic, it looks quirky and I like that element of it but the actual location of it and the way it's been designed is completely wrong. And when it rains it's like kids only place they can go is like duck and shops or cafes and they don't have a lot of they get told like it because it. they need mm. money to be in there, they need to buy yeah. something, otherwise they're a nuisance. And, yeah. and half of the kids don't have their money to no, do nothing. that. No, nothing, they don't have money for it. People want, especially in the winter, they want somewhere cosy, somewhere warm, Absolutely. somewhere heated, somewhere with yeah. loads of bean bags and just a big yeah. sofa, you know. Yeah. Bean bags. Oh, bean bags. You know how people like below, like sit around at the park in the summer? Well, yeah. you wouldn't like that, but it's somewhere inside in the winter. So that if it is raining, you can still sit down, chill out, and just chat to your friends. if it was more like kid welcoming well like sense. teenage welcoming i think the one thing that Froome needs to work on is its community spirit cleaning up you know its community areas because that's the only way you're going to give people that pride people are scared of each other and so hang around in big groups yeah. no one wants to go there talk to them they think they're too no. different they don't feel part of a community like they're the same sort of person as them that they can be approachable if kind of everyone had that bit more sense of community and work together a bit more. A place in the room to hang out because there isn't really anywhere. just want a space where they can just chill out. They need places that are just predominantly for people to go and chill out and have fun. Meeting up with people, you want somewhere close by where you can get to quickly, yes. where you can quickly just send a text around or no one like social networking. Yes. Spontaneous, so there's a safe space for you, there's no commitment. Yeah. Somewhere you can just hang out that's sheltered and feel safe in. You know, it's hard to achieve things and make the town better when we don't get enough people coming forward and saying what's wrong with it. 
peers we're all different and we've all got different opinions of what's wrong and what's right and what can be improved on and I just think that people need to get, like let themselves be heard and I think that's important because Broome is brilliant but it could be a lot better. Thank you.